year we celebrated 100 years of mateship. That's 100 years of uh, the US and uh, Australia fighting side by side. And the submarine, a strategic force, is just one of the, the cornerstones of both our navies. You visit, as I have done, HMAS Sterling, the naval uh, base on the, on the west coast. You'll have US personnel clamoring off those submarines. I think it's a force multiplier. We have six members here from the US Navy. That collaboration is just extending that mateship. Loud. Any second now, team. Low lad. Coming down here and operating with them, you become instantaneously part of their family and part of their force. Basically an extension of the larger Navy family, just operating with a different country on a slightly different platform. They do a lot of training here, just like we do. Uh, we go underway, we do drills, we keep everything so that if there's a situation, the submarines can handle that situation to the best of their ability, quickly, efficiently, and smoothly. Sonar standard, starboard wheel, steer two. It really helps with uh, just understanding tactics, because not only do I learn uh, the Australian tactics and how they operate as a sub force and how they operate as a diesel boat force, um, but it also helps them understand the American tactics. I think it has definitely given me a lot of respect for what other countries and other navies do. You know, like the old walk a mile in someone else's shoes, like I'm literally doing that right now. The most professional development you could ever get is just seeing literally how another country and another nation and another class type, uh, you know, diesel versus nuclear operates. So it's been, it's been great. I can't stress enough how good it is having the exchange program. So it's a pleasure having them work with me in Western Australia here.